last year I had 10 people die close to me within the space of a year um, that was pretty hard um, so at the turn of the year somewhere around December January I uh, broke down eventually I built myself up but I broke down and I realized it was a pivotal moment for me because I realized what was important in life and to me that was family and having a lot of friends and family just die makes you realize that sort of thing I've been trying to move back home because of the whole death thing and family's important I've been trying to move back home for the entire year because of the friendships that I've developed at CPC primarily um, and that just reminds me of my home back in Miami um, and I'm always saying if I met you guys sooner, I probably would have stayed. It's hard for me personally, and that's kind of the reason why I'm going back home is because all of the people that died, I really couldn't do anything about it. And I'm the guy who just like a couple months ago saved a girl off the street from oncoming traffic. I'll put my life on the line. Um, so it's hard not being able to step in and s save those who need, who need to be saved. Uh, my sister, she was at her house, and she has a three-story house. And um, being from Miami, she doesn't know how to work a fireplace as yet, so this was her first time. And she lit her fire, and then at the end, she put it out, or so she thought. And she closed the damper, and um, luckily, she took her dog upstairs. She has two dogs. And she took her dog upstairs to sleep with her, which she normally does not do. And the fire relit. And because she closed the damper, it just spread and smoke filled the house. And she was upstairs. She didn't hear the alarms going off because she's a heavy sleeper. And, um, and eventually it was the smoke, breathing in the smoke that woke her up. And she tried to go downstairs, but she only got a couple of steps um, before the smoke started like suffocating her and she was about to pass out. So she rushed back into her bedroom and um, she had to take the dogs, put their noses to the window so that they could breathe. And she called um, for help. She actually called us, but my mom and I, we were up in the mountains 7,000 feet. So we had no reception or any service. Uh, so she called for help. A uh, cop got there before the firefighters and um, of course he didn't have any protective gear so he raced upstairs she's a little bamboozled and she, the cop gets her and then she's screaming trying to save her dogs and he was like forget them we need to take you out and so he just pushed her down the first flight of stairs and that's where the fire was and all she's seeing is red and just smoke and he just pushed her down the second flight of stairs um, and then the dogs came racing after her but it was a miracle and i'm grateful because she came to church last week there was there was no scratch on her um, and her house for the most part is fine so yes i am extremely grateful for pretty much everything just because I've been through a lot. You're talking to a guy who's been through countless deaths. Um, I've been homeless, I've just been through a crazy range of life experiences. So I know what a good meal tastes like. I know what it is to be warm. I've had some crazy experiences out in the winter, out in the cold, nearly froze to death. Um, so pretty much everything and that's that's part of the reason why I give back and why I'm looking for a life that has meaning where I can give back because I think that's the greatest form of service. My perspective going into 2019 would be laugh bountifully, live life to its fullest, and love with all your heart.